In this video, I'm going to guide you through the steps of uploading your news footage to the SteadyTake servers in a very efficient way if you're using a Mac OS device like a tablet, an iPad, or an iPhone, uh, and also uh, an Apple Mac laptop or desktop. It's a very efficient way to do this. That's why I recommend it if you uh, operate in the whole Apple ecosystem. So first of all, you need to make sure you go into your settings on both your Mac and your iOS device and set up AirDrop, the file transfer system. Uh, there are plenty of Apple tech support uh, documents that can show you how to do that. It's a very simple process because Apple wanted to make it very easy. So I have that set up. I've tested it out. It's very easy to uh, try out, send, trying uh, to send files between your devices. So now that I have that turned on, I go to my album where my video is that I want to work with, that I want to upload. Uh, I select it. In this case, I have an album called Test just for this. Uh, a lot of times you might be uploading from your camera roll. So you start off here by hitting select. Select the video. You can select multiple videos if you have them. Hit the share button in the lower left corner. And because I have my Mac set up to uh, use AirDrop, I, all I have to do is click on it. So it says waiting right now. And then on my Mac, it uh, gave me a sound notification that said it received it. So it's set up uh, natively to download to your downloads folder on your Mac. Uh, so now I'm gonna transfer over to the Mac and continue with this process. Now that I'm on my MacBook, I log into the Steady Take website, which is media.steadytake.com. After I sign in, I'm taken to my dashboard here that shows all of my videos. Now I'm not adding this new test video to any previous uh, video sets, so I'm not gonna hit the uh, plus button on any of these. I'm just going to hit upload since it's the first. Now at this point I need to hit uh, choose file up here. I have my account set up so that AirDrop files are placed in my downloads folder on my Mac. So here is the file that I just uploaded from uh, my iPhone. As you can see down here, it says dimensions 1920 by 1080. It's important that uh, all, of, all of the videos here are in 1080p. So I choose the file and it shows up there a little thumbnail. I add a caption, in this case I'm going to hit test, keywords test, shot type, I'm just going to say b-roll, it doesn't really matter, this isn't going anywhere. I'm going to say exclusive to keep it from automatically showing up in special feeds, uh, USA, I'm going to hit Arizona, and Tucson, you could put anything in here, uh, category I'm just going to say crime description I'm going to say test. So I've entered in all of these fields. I'm going to hit submit and it will upload it to the server. You can see uploading progress here. So now that I'm done with this I can transfer additional files uh, but it's important to remember that with AirDrop you can transmit multiple video files so you can get it all done at once. This means that uh, you don't have to upload the footage to a uh, server like Google Drive or Dropbox or anything like that. You can just very quickly transfer the video from your iOS device to your Mac if they're nearby. You need Bluetooth on, there are basic requirements for AirDrop. It's very easy, but these requirements, uh, it's easy to find information on Apple's support website, making sure you can uh, upload these.